A motorcyclist faces life threatening injuries after police say another driver intentionally crashed into him. Color 10 obtained surveillance video that shows an SUV hitting the motorcyclist, causing them to lose control. The SUV driver Dia Brewer now faces assault charges. Color 10 Sydney Moran is live on East Bennett Street explaining how this all unfolded. A probable cause statement says Brewer knew the motorcyclist and a warning. The video you're about to see, the surveillance video, is graphic. You're seeing something that you definitely don't expect. Injury law attorney David Ranson says every time he sees crash video is shocking. But to hear someone intentionally rear-ending a motorcyclist is not normal. Using a vehicle as a weapon when a vehicle like that weighs over 4,000 pounds, uh, 10, 15 times more than the motorcycle itself is just inexcusable. Video from May 22nd shows a white SUV and motorcycle driving east on Bennett Street in the early evening. The SUV speeds up to the motorcycle and then proceeds to hit the bike. That was very intentional. The SUV proceeds to tailgate the motorcycle until the biker loses balance and falls off. The SUV speeds away. Probable cause statement says the motorcyclist went to Mercy Hospital where doctors diagnosed him with a cracked skull, road rash injuries, and bleeding. Given the speed, broad daylight, clear weather conditions, uh, there's no excuse for this. Police say they interviewed a woman claiming to be the girlfriend of the SUV driver, Dee Brewer. She also told police she was in love with the motorcyclist, and police say Brewer claimed he was going to kill him. Even if it were intentional or gross negligence, just outrageous recklessness, wanted to scare him or something of that fashion, the driver of the vehicle targeting the bike is definitely liable. Brewer is facing assault and armed criminal action charges as a result. And I think those charges are probably appropriate. As of this afternoon, police say the motorcyclist is still in the hospital. Reporting in Springfield, City Moran, Ozarks First.